Hey, so I got a video uploading, and uh, part of why I didn't get on so quick is <clears throat> I really didn't know my place on YouTube, and I just realized I, I never got on here for any re reason to have an audience or anything, and it's just really to attract like-minded people, people that are open-minded, people that are free, people that are maybe my age, maybe younger people that respect, uh, you know, somebody that's near 50, that's still open-minded, still has their child's spirit going on, and so I thought about a lot of stuff I wanted to do and say on here, and one constant comment I get from people who have friended me a lot is that, man, you have really good taste in music, and I mean, uh, I'll agree with that, that's one thing I do know that I, I know, I, I do have really good taste in music, so my video that's uploading right now, I realized I forgot to do something that I want to start doing in all my uploads, which is to give you, tell you about some amazing piece of music because, man, I listen to some of these videos that people are making that are real hot shot videos with this is shit music. Just crap corporate stuff. I heard some stuff with Jason Robel that uh, Mahanomi was like uh, doing editing on with the Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas are shit, dude. Looks like that music is crap. That's pure corporate fucking bullshit. And, and music now sucks more than it's ever sucked. And new music, good new music is so hard to find. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe if you're only 20 something because in America for the most part music has been sucking for a good 20 years. Now it kind of sucks everywhere. Anyways. What I'm going to do instead of being negative is I'm going to tell you about good music, about creative, amazing music. So your tip for the day that's attached to the last video uh, is I'm going to maybe tell you about some people who've made music, people who are passionate about music, people that are honest artists, people that are not corporate minded. First one that I'm going to mention, and of course a lot of stuff in my videos I've tried to tell you about, Pete Namlik, amazing artist totally honest, puts out limited edition, puts out a release and there's like 300 copies and then it's like done. So here's, as I start officially on every video I'm going to try to do this now is to tell you about some amazing music. So this one is Muslim Gauze. Um, uh, this is a project of a guy named uh, Bryn Jones who is now dead, who was so prolific. He died in 1998. The label who put out his material they were called uh, Stale Plate. They're an uh, uh, independent record producing record distributor out of, I'm not sure where they're out of, whether they're Germany or is it French or something. They're, they're in Europe. And then they have a, uh, a sister company that they're related to in Oregon called Soleil Moon. Anyways, these people were exclusively responsible for distributing Muslim gauze material. Muslim gauze started in maybe the I think early 80s and uh, a lot of limited edition stuff um, did I digress off that like after Bryn died these record companies there was so much he was so prolific that they continued putting out these posthumous limited edit editions of like 1,000 copies and fortunately for YouTube now you can find a lot of this stuff on there so here is your musical tip of the day for tasty, yummy music. And this is um, Moolah Said by um, Muslim Gauze, and it's from the album Moolah Said, and it was a limited edition, 1,000 copies. So luckily one of those people with 1,000 copies uploaded um, Moolah Said. And some of this uh, it was a little bit political because uh, there was always the theme running through uh, Muslim Gaza of being uh, having a favoritism towards uh, Palestinian uh, um, po politics and most of American Western Europe favor um, Israel and the politics and so this was a very interesting thing and then after his death it sort of came out that you would have thought that the guy had been in Palestine, but apparently he never had been in, but just felt very passionate about that. It's a theme that always runs through all of Muslim. Gaza's material is pro-Palestine. And um, anyways, who cares about the politics? Let's just listen to the music. And um, I don't know if this video is an official video for Muslim Gaza, 
Um, I think it's just a fan video with some very lovely footage of life in Palestine and how third world nations live and just like seeing stuff like this. So, um, Moolah said, and then from the same album, if you feel like digging into it, I, there's a song that's going to be over in the sidebar when you watch uh, um, Moolah said that's called uh, Every Grain of Palestinian Sand or something like that. That's also from the album Moolah said is one of the best albums by Muslim Gaz. Anyways, that's your tip for the day from Keith. Most of them won't be this lengthy. I'll just tell you what to listen to, and there's a link in the drop-down box to uh, Moolah Said.